Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Thomas and today I'm going to show you how to take your X-Gen Groom from Maya and bring it into Unreal Engine 4 using the new hair simulation tool. So let's jump right in. So starting off, we have our character that I got from Mixamo. He is in his original pose. I quickly put on an X-Gen Groom and applied a few modifiers. Now, first thing we want to do is take the mesh of our character, duplicate it, take the description of our groom, and transfer it to the new duplicate mesh. This compresses our groom. So now we have this duplicated groom with no added modifiers. We're going to take this groom, descriptions, export cache and we're going to use current frame make sure right final width is checked and call it what you want hair groom 01 going to export that and now we're going to jump into unreal here's the unreal engine 4.24 before we go anywhere, we want to first go to Project Settings, look up Skin Cache, Support Compute Skin Cache, we want that checked on. We also want Tick, Tick Animation on Skeletal Mesh checked off. Now it's telling us to restart, we are not going to do that quite yet. First, we are going to now go into our plugins, type in groom, and we want both Alembic groom importer and groom enabled. So I'm going to turn those on, yes, and yes. Also, we're going to deal with the Niagara system. So we want both Niagara and Niagara Extras turned on. Yes and yes. Now that we have all those checked, we can restart our engine. Now that we're back in, we want to bring the FBX of our character into the engine. Now that we have our character in the engine, we can drag and drop him in there. And we also want to bring in our Alembic hair cache. There it is. Find where you saved it to. We're going to drag and drop it in the engine. And now all these rotations will be set to zero, but we'll be changing that in a bit. Hair to guide density, import. Now that we have our hair in there, we're going to go to our character. We're going to add component. We're going to type in groom. Now that we have our groom component in there, we are going to Get our groom asset. Here it is. And you'll know that it's off. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it 90 degrees on the X and 180 on the Z. But this will give us problems in the future. So before you do anything, remember X is negative 90, Z is 180. We're going to delete our groom off the skeletal mesh. We're going to come back to our hair groom, right click, re-import. So the X was negative 90 and the Z was 180. Import.
Now we click on our character, skeletal mesh, add component, groom, get our groom asset down here. There it is. And now it should be sitting on your character perfectly. Going to go into some extra settings. In our groom, we can click on this little arrow. Once again, we can change our hair width, maybe a little thicker. And where we get it where we like, now we want the hair to stick to the mesh. So we're going to go to groom, bind groom to skeletal mesh. Now it is stuck to our mesh. Next on our groom, we want to add component and type in Niagara. Don't mind the hair if it moves a little bit. It's a little funky here. We're going to go to the Niagara system asset. If you do not see this list, go to view options and check show engine content and show plugin content. And then this little list should show up. We're going to hit groom asset. Now the first time you do that, your computer may freeze for a while. Don't worry, Unreal is not crashing. It's just taking a minute because this is something completely new to it. Once Unreal decides to unfreeze, click on your character and your hair should be simulating. Now to make sure it's actually attached to the body and not just kind of moving and translate to one bone, let's import an animation. Got a little fist fight right here. Bring that in, import. And on our character, on skeletal mesh component, going to want to use a animation asset Select and play. And there you have it. A nice, clean, simulating Niagara hair system. Now for some of you that have extremely long hair or bigger grooms, you're going to want to come here to the Niagara system and check Project Blend and Project stretch. For me that has fixed any unwanted pops or just a weird stretching of the hair. This has been your tutorial to bring an X-Gen groom into Unreal Engine using the hair simulation tool. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. I'm Thomas and I'll see you next time.